Channel 11 has covered the struggle during the COVID-19 pandemic as families try to balance unemployment, their health, their homes. It's why UPMC McGee allowed Channel 11 morning news anchor Catherine Amenta exclusive access to its pregnancy recovery center. She learned how it is truly here to help. That's a lot to figure out when you're 18. At 31 years old, Rachel Radke says she's now strong enough to look back and share her battle with addiction and mental health. I'm getting ready to start college and I am addicted to heroin and then I am pregnant. Okay, so it's like major disaster. <laughs> The Mount Lebanon mother of three says she doesn't shy away from remembering those lonely years in 2008. Rachel was pregnant with her oldest son, Asher, and she was desperately trying to stay clean. She went on methadone to help. I faced a lot of stigma in the hospital, making some little snide comments about the choices I had made. For 17 long days, Asher stayed in the hospital for detox. It was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. It was awful. Eventually, Asher went home a healthy baby boy. And five years later, his brother Isaac came along. But Rachel's ups and downs continued. Other times it was I just gave up because I was totally exasperated with feeling like crap for a decade and, <laughs> you know, just gave up and self-medicated. Then everything changed in 2019. Baby number three was on the way. Rachel had a job. She was doing well in school and was staying clean with the help of Suboxone. But she was scared it wouldn't last. And that's when her doctor recommended UPMC McGee's Pregnancy Recovery Center. <laughs> Tucked away in this peaceful office space, the center's reach cannot be measured. Since 2014, their doctors, nurses, and social workers have tailored outpatient support for women, from mental health services to finding a job to managing a happy and healthy pregnancy. It's important to kind of normalize uh, the pregnancy and how excited they are to be a mom and how excited they are to have, have, a, have a child. Dr. Elizabeth Kranz says the key is tearing down the stigma. We should have the same response when we learn that somebody's on insulin for their diabetes, that we learn that somebody's on methadone uh, for their opioid use disorder. And she says the program's proof is in their newborns. It's really changed the entire dynamic. And we have seen our treatment rates for the baby uh, just totally plummet. Less than 5% of babies are now need to receive uh, medical therapy. For Rachel, her daily battle has turned into a routine monthly check-in at the center. And now she's using her newfound freedom to help others. I know that the PRC, I mean, it's just improved my outcomes tremendously. And I know it's done that for other women. And there's no reason to, you know, be um, afraid or ashamed or to suffer or be sick when there's other choices out there. To date, the Pregnancy Recovery Center has helped more than 700 women and 200 babies. And their services are available to all women, even if they're not pregnant. For more information about making an appointment, go to our website, WPXI.com. Katherine Amenta, Channel 11 News.